It is an all-star cast of jazz musicians and actors. The Word Theater has a big event coming up next week. It's a tribute to the legendary author Langston Hughes, who also had a long history with jazz music. And joining me now is actor James Pickens Jr., who will be a part of this tribute. Welcome. It's so nice to have you here with Hello, us. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Tell me more about this event. What exactly is it? Oh, well, Word Theater has been around for 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. I've been involved with several of their events over the past few years. And September 13th, they're mm -hmm. going to be putting on an event celebrating Langston Hughes's mm -hmm. life, his mm -hmm. work, uh, set to an amazing jazz band with mm -hmm. amazing vocalists and some amazing performers. Uh, mm -hmm. The wonderful Marla Gibbs, who I've had a yeah. chance to work with, Tracy yeah. Toms, Gary Dordan, Charles Parnell. Uh, list of amazing, amazing performers. And we're going to celebrate Langston's words mm -hmm. and uh, set it to music and hope folks enjoy it. Yeah, and what drew you to this? Uh, I have a kind of a, I don't want to say personal connection because there's a, about a hundred year gap there, <laughs> but I belong to an amazing community theater back in Cleveland, Ohio, where I was born and raised, called mm -hmm. the Caramel House, which is the longest running continuing multicultural community arts center in the country. It's over 104 years old. Uh -huh. Langston Hughes did a lot of his work there. He left Kansas City, came to Cleveland, and uh -huh. found himself at the Caramel House and wrote a lot of his, uh, his profound stories, uh -huh. the Simply Heavenly series with Just a Few Simple came through there and stuff. And then he went on into New York and helped usher in what was, mm -hmm. would be, become uh, the Harlem Renaissance. Mm -hmm. And what will you be doing at this event? I'm going to be reading some excerpts from okay. some of his writings. Democracy okay. is one I'm really excited about. Really? Yeah. But he was, he was so profound and, 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 and prophetic in his view of America and where mm -hmm. we are as mm -hmm. African Americans, what our place was in that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cedar and Fox is, is elevated that and, and wants to showcase that and, and celebrate mm -hmm. it. And did you choose this specifically, or was this suggested that Well, you... they reached out. We had kind of touched upon it the last time I worked with them, and mm -hmm. we read some of his stuff. But this mm -hmm. time, they wanted to dedicate a whole evening mm -hmm. to him. And mm -hmm. so I said, sure, I'm on. You yeah. Know. Yeah, we are. Because there isn't a lot of events like this that no. just focus. So, I yeah. mean, it's really special that you all are doing this. Yeah, and it celebrates the written word, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and also the set to music. So it, it, it encompasses the sensory experience that mm -hmm. we like to have and mm -hmm. uh, I think it, there's no better way to do it than saying his words yeah and, yeah I'm yeah. looking forward to it well it looks like an amazing evening actually it's a, a, a nice chunk of the day which yeah. is even better so yeah. uh -huh. thank you so much for joining oh, us we certainly appreciate it yeah. and again the tribute to links and Hughes is next Friday at the Moss Theater in Santa Monica and you can find more information by going to kcalnews.com and clicking scene on TV